Well, guys, we are finally here for the review, finally, for Resident Evil Darkness. Uh, there's a lot I gotta say, positive, negative, and I really don't know where to start, so I am going to be going into spoilers, I'm warning you now. Uh, if you do not want to be spoiled, click off the video, go watch it, come back. Uh, it is only four episodes, all in all. Uh, including intro credits all together it's 30 minutes uh, you get rid of that it's probably between 25 to 27 minutes maybe or 26 uh, but the initial story for this was in the present timeline this is several years after the events of Resident Evil 4 so I have this weird feeling this probably could take place before the events of Resident Evil 6. I could be right, I could be wrong, unsure. Um, but Leon is now a uh, is an agent for the government, right alongside the president. When he arrives to the White House, the White House is attacked by zombies. They're trying to figure out the outbreak. And the Secretary of Defense is obviously blaming China, wanting to have them attack to start a war. And... The president says no, not until we have hardcore proof. So he sends Leon, Jason, uh, a brand new character, also another brand new character by the name of Shin Mei, uh, to China to go figure out whatever is going on. And also Claire returns. She's working for an agency who is trying to help rebuild and build schools, hospitals for a uh, country right next to China. Now, when she does meet Leon, she shows him something that she found by a kid who saw zombies in a war that happened six years ago, where the character Jason was in a uh, squad that went over there, tried to save another unit. Unfortunately, when they did, they were uh, shot down, they were stranded, and then, unfortunately, zombies started attacking them, and they all got infected. Now, when this happens... We see where Jason is under a, well not really a cure, more like a stabilizer to handle the transformation. While his other squad mates, they had the same issue and they were used by the secretary, which we later find out in the uh, show, for uh, secret ops. And Leon is unfortunately in the middle of this and he later, it later gets revealed that Jason is doing another mission other than the one they were assigned to. Same thing with Shin Mei. And Leon, of course, being Leon, he's very loyal, very, you know, to justice and truth, you know, the American way, obviously. And he wants to do things his own way. And he wants to figure out answers. So him and Jason go at it. Unfortunately, he does shoot him, and he's not dead due to the virus, which you later find out. And Shin Mei later reveals, after he follows her, that one of the soldiers that Jason saved in the war was her younger brother. And he lost both, all his limbs, and then he was turned, and Jason used his uh, connections to get all of them out. <clears throat> and then come back, they'd be Ward Medal of Honor, and since she was a uh, soldier as well, she blamed Wilson for what happened, so they were trying to go after him to get revenge and the truth. So Leon, after hearing that, he does decide to help her, and then Claire's figuring out that all the soldiers committed suicide, except for uh, Jason, and he has been working, unfortunately, for Wilson, not by his own free will, but they have all been blackmailed because if they were not able to, uh, if they said no, then they wouldn't have gotten the uh, temporary cure to stabilize the virus and they would have became zombies or something else. So we do find out in the uh, series where at the very end of it, everything comes to uh, a close where they handle Jason and he even says that it ain't over yet. Leon and Claire have a disagreement at the very end due to the information that uh, Shin Mei gives Leon for uh, what they found out about everything going up against Wilson. Wilson, unfortunately, does escape during this after everything with the big battle as well as also he even gets infected by Jason after Jason comes back and turns into that big monster we see in the trailer. 
and he even, uh, I guess, it still has different connections that ones that are loyal to him. Uh, he may try to work with another company. But then we also see where, again, Claire is going to be doing her own thing as well as Leon. So, again, if they are going to be doing a season two, we may see them, but possibly not on equal grounds like they normally are. Because she even agrees him being a government agent does not suit him. Him basically, you know, taking orders for the president and everything else doesn't really fit the narrative of who he is he's still a cop at heart he wants to protect but he also wants to reveal the truth and also be able to do things what he thinks is right and claire being claire she wants to do the same thing but in a different way different mode be able to expose everything but i think leon wants to do everything in his own time so there is a difference of opinion now overall did i enjoy this i did is there, is there issues with this? Yes, there is. Is there positives with this? Yes, there is. First off, with the negative, uh, the negative, four episodes, very short, uh, only 30 minutes apiece, and it includes, like I said, the intro, the credits, everything. Um, action, fair amount. Uh, drama, same. Acting was very well done. Uh, same voice actors for Resident Evil 2 voiced uh, Claire and Leon, which I was very satisfied for, as well as the animation was, I think, very well done. And in my personal opinion, I think it was well done. Uh, <clears throat> it kind of felt like it was a step up a little bit from the animation that we got in the animated Resident Evil movies, which, again, they weren't terrible. They were a lot better than live action. I just wish that, uh, I, I, again, you can tell animation has improved so much over the years where they really did show this and this is the kind of animation that we are going to be getting such as for like Tomb Raider or Assassin's Creed or future Resident Evil uh, series or movies or anything that has animation for a video game then I personally am hopeful for it but at the same time there are massive issues where I think that it was a little too fast paced um, I think they try to make it fast paced enough for the uh, viewing audience to be able to keep entertained as well as be able to uh, catch along with the story. It was, it really did feel like more like a Resident Evil game because it had your uh, your beginning, your two-parter for the middle, and then the fourth episode was your end. And that's what it felt like. And again, it did have negatives, but also did have positives, like I said. Um, I think the voice acting was well done. I think the animation was good. I think that the uh, bringing in a couple new characters, characters that we don't really see uh, coming into the fold very often. I think they're uh, very interesting. You know, uh, Shin Mei, Jason, uh, you felt, you know, you got connected to Jason's character a little bit for what happened to him with his squad, why he wanted revenge, why he wanted justice, but at the same time, doing it a little different. Same thing with Shin Mei, what happened to her brother, how she was treated by her own military, by, uh, you know, enlisting, and then just being discarded the way she was in a way and knowing that there is a massive conspiracy in the in the white house at this time as well as also who can you trust and who can you not trust is, is pretty much what the whole narrative of this show was and again we may get a season two we may not but if we are going to be getting a season two anytime soon i think that needs to be a little longer uh, if it's going to be 30 minutes, okay, fine. But it needs to be like maybe 8, 10 episodes possibly. 4 is not enough. I'm sorry. I think they could have stretched it out a little bit more. But again, that's my own personal opinion. Again, I did enjoy this. Uh, there's not a whole lot that I want to say. Now, again, was the hype real? It was, but as soon as you saw four episodes, I think that's what really killed it, was as soon as you saw the four episodes for the, uh, for the episode line, it really... It, it dumbed it down for me. I was like, okay, four episodes, let's see what they got. Then when I was able to watch it, I was I was really intrigued. I was really focused. But again, a little too fast-paced for me. If they would have just slowed it down a little bit, took their time, had a little bit more, I think it would have been better. But again, beggars can't be choosers. We've been wanting a Resident Evil series. Uh, this may be the only kind of series we may get. I don't know if this is going to be a one and done. If so, okay. If not, then uh, we can expect more. But 
Only way I know how to say, guys, is I did enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys did too. If you guys did, let me know what your thoughts were about it down in the comments. If you guys are new, always say about subscribing, leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Click notifications if you guys are new, so that way you guys are notified every time I upload. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys on the very next one.